Hi ladies and gents, um, I just wanted to um, share um, just a few little things I've bought the last few days or so. I went to Savers and I got this cute little doll. The reason why I got her is um, I liked her eyes and I want to try drawing whimsical girls and I don't really know how to. She was only $2.99. And this is perfect in terms of the eyes. She doesn't have a, a nose, but the mouth, especially the eyes, um, and the body as well. So I'm just going to look at her and draw her and, um, yeah, see, hopefully if I can do some cool whim whimsical things. This was really cool, um, $2.99. Um, got two of these. Oh, they're candles. I didn't notice up until now. Wow. Candles. Oh, wow. Little angels. Initially, I thought it was a pill box, but they're candles. Oh, wow. So I've got two of those. And this. Hawaii. Oh, someone must have got that from Hawaii. That's cool. So, yeah, that was $2.99. This was really cool. It reminds me of all those shoes everyone's doing all the time. Uh, $1.99 this package was. Um, someone's put a lot of work into this. There's the, the hanger for it. And they've um, beaded it. See, there's, there's beads here. Um, wow, look at that. That's the front. side and little pom-pom sequins and oh they've painted that on I think that yellow that's like um fabric paint ah okay a lot of work went into that look at that all the fabric paint and the beads the sequins that is really cute and it smells like lavender. Yum. It's gorgeous. And this gorgeous little fairy. Isn't that cute? Little fairy. Um, it's very old. Little trinket box. How cute. And this. What's that? Ah. Okay. That'll make a lovely decoration. So that looks like they've put that on like a big connector or cameo. And they've rolled some satin. I think. Does it go like that? That'll look nice on a vintage album. Pretty. So that was pretty, pretty good. Um... These were one ninety nine. Um, this is cool. Look at that. That'll look lovely over um, an album, fabric album. And there's that that much of that there, or over a shabby chic tag or anything. This I want to show you. Reminds me of the material I've got, um, oh, not really, but I bought some organza birds, and it's very similar. This material it feels a bit different, but I'm thinking I could probably make me some big organza bags with that. Just not sure how to 
do it. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll watch a few tutorials. So, um, maybe that'll be good for like a wedding album. So, there's some here and some more here. This I thought was a bargain. Um, the whole lot was five ninety nine, and the back uh, says Alten Klansted, whatever. It's like a German or Dutch, and I eBayed it, and like a square dish came up for like twenty five dollars, and I thought, oh, okay, I've got all these, I might as well. And what convinced me to buy it is this tile at the back says made in France. Maybe that was the year it was made. Um, maybe that means how many there was made, I don't know. Um, oh no, there, maybe that means there were 5,334 made, I don't know. If anyone knows about that stuff. Box to hood and flute. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I wanted to resell those, especially this has got a hanger, um, I'm sure that would be worth a lot more than that. So, yeah. And there's this little one here. And another one. And that. I don't know, maybe I might um, put them up on my walls, who knows. I got um, this stamp, name, school, class, subject. Um, a reindeer. Oh, that's handy for Christmas. Um, to and from. And I got it because of this one. I really like this one. From the cottage of, to me, that seems like handmade from the cottage being our craft room. So maybe if we make something, we can stamp that. And from the cottage of, seriously, scrapping <laughs> our craft room. Maybe the new nickname could be called, a, it could be our cottage. This was a real bargain. One ninety nine for all these. Wow, look at all these. It's wonderful to alter. Cute little boxes. This, uh, one. There's another cute little box. Another one. Wow, usually they sell these separately for like two dollars. So I was surprised they bunched them all together like that. Yeah, these are wonderful, very strong too. And for $2.99, I got these um, stamps. 
don't usually find stamps like that at Sega, so I was very surprised. There's like a number five. Look at that. Um, there's a Y. I hope I've got all the letters of the alphabet. G, Y, E, number two, W, Q, S, Z. Wow. It, it looks like everything's in here. Anyway, I'll go through that later. Don't want to bore you to death. But yeah, it, look, it looks like it's all there. And um, um, hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Here it is. Um, the other day, I went and um, two ninety nine. I found a uh, kit. And I thought, oh, it looks vintage, like it was from the 70s. And I looked it up, it's about $25. Bridge Waddington's. Right. The Laws of Contract Bridge from 1963. <laughs> it comes with a little pencil. Mm, don't know if these are the original ones because when I looked it up on eBay I saw different playing cards and um, the cards. I've never played bridge but I think I will maybe give it a go. And some cute painter bit expensive I wouldn't usually but with Christmas coming I thought they were really cute um, two dollars for these uh, you get two of them one one and two but they're real real pretty I mean, Christmas colors too yeah. yeah so that's oh and one more thing is this for $1.99 it's a bit pricey but uh Again, I'm thinking it is worth the failure. A lot of work gone into that. It says Maria George Vintage Bead Salon Motifs. Look at all the work that's gone into those. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my little haul. Yeah. Oh, thanks all for watching. Bye.